So today we're going to be doing the very humorous member of the baboon family. We're going to be doing a mandrel. So you will need your pencil because there are going to be some lines that you might want to correct on this one. And we'll get started. Over here towards the left hand side, we're going to make a diamond. going to encompass his mane and his head. Um, I am going to round the corners of my diamond. You may decide you like them more angular. I like to have mine rounded. Then in the middle of that diamond, I'm going to draw a trapezoid with long sides. So they're not staying parallel. They're leaning out slightly. And then I'm going to come down and draw the bottom where it's rounding. I'm going to give him a comma and a backwards comma for his nostrils. Then I'm going to come across and then curve it down so that it hits the nose and then come over just like it's making a letter U and curve back up. Okay, so we're going to give him a straight across line for his eyebrows. Then he has a line that comes from the corner of that eyebrow down, from the corner of that eyebrow down. He's got little folds right here, so we're going to give him three lines that are kind of going to simulate those folds. And then we're going to go and add his eyes. So I've given him a little spot for where his white's going to be in the pupil. I am making that space for the white a little bit bigger than it will end up being because I know the Sharpie is going to bleed some. Once I've got this, I'm going to go and everywhere that the face is radiating out from the center with his mane, I'm going to go and create like sunshine rays. Now they're not going to be exactly the same size, which is fine. If you think about it, everybody's hair has got a little bit going on. It's not totally straight or totally perfect. And so we're going to go and divide that up for him, for his mane. All right. Now they tend to walk in kind of a hunched over fashion. So what we're going to do is come above his head, draw a little line so we get that straight part. And then we're going to curve ever so slightly as we come down below that uh, diamond. There's the word we're looking for. So I'm coming down. And then as I go back, I am going to let that line go downwards just a little bit. Then I'm going to come and I'm going to go downwards and curve in just a little. Not a ton, but just a little. Then I'm going to come divide up where his arms are. So this one is going to touch right here. And you're making that almost triangular or trapezoidal kind of shape right there. And then right now I'm just going to give him kind of a mitt for where his ha hand fingery part will be. Later I'll go back and define that. I'm going to come down. Give him a little space for like his hand. Then when I come back up, I'm going to come back and arch that line. Okay. Now we're going to give him his front and his back legs. So we're going to come underneath where we stopped. We're going to come underneath right there and go down. Give him his little space for his hand. And up. And then this one, we're going to start further down that line, come in, give him that space for his little hand. Now up here, I'm going to come, I'm going to give him his little puffy tail. And the most striking part about this guy, his colored behind. So it'll look like half of a heart, basically. It's not quite as bouncy. It's very much a half of a heart with a flat top. Okay, we need to go in and give him his fingers. Keep in mind, 
because he's an ape, he's got four. He doesn't have the opposable thumb. So we're just going to come draw the first one that's closest to us. One, then bump two, bump three, and bump four. And let that touch. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Once again, we're going to start with the one closest to us because it's going to be laying on top of the other ones. Two, three, four. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing, repeating. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. All right. So you are ready to go in and get your Sharpie. I do think I'm going to enlarge this area around his face a little bit. I think I'd like him to have a slightly bigger face than I gave him. And that's one of the beauties about having that Sharpie after you've done your pencil. As you can see, if there's a small thing like that, that you go, oh yeah, I think I'd like it better if I did this. So I'm going, I'm getting the lines for his face. I'm going to go around carefully because I know that's a tight spot. And then behind that white in that space where it's open, that actually is going to be black. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in. All right. And now I can go and do the lines out for his fur. And I'll just extend what I had. Since it's the same shape, it's just a little bit wider. All right. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen The Lion King, but the monkey or mandrel who is in charge of showing off Simba when he's born is a mandrel. That's what he is, Rafiki. So we're going to come down. Making sure we follow the lines of the fingers that we made earlier. There we go. And last one. Give him his outline for his bottom, his little fluffy tail, and I will connect that top part. All right, you are ready to go and erase and add color. If you get a chance, go look at what a mandrel actually looks like. They are fantastic. See you guys later.